Welcome back to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Haley and I are back in the shop again, and today we're gonna make these cool little snowmen candle holders. So we're gonna start off this project using some chunks of log that came out of our yard. We've chosen some different sizes so that when we put them together, it's gonna look like a snowman. Using the bandsaw, we'll just cut some slices of the logs down to make up our shapes. They're small, medium, and big. So we're trying to keep these together. Let's sand. Okay, start sanding. Sand all that crud off of there. See how ours is smooth? Ours is smooth and we have three of them to do. Now we're going to drill the holes to fasten the snowman together. I'm going to drill some 5 16 holes in the ends of these discs to insert some wooden dowels. Now I'll just slice up a couple of short pieces of dowel. So we've got our pieces all sanded, we've got our little dowels cut. We're ready to glue these snowmen up. And we're gonna put glue inside these holes so that these things can stick in. So we'll just squirt out a little bit of glue under a little piece of cardboard. We'll use a little brush to smear some glue into the holes and then we'll clamp these things up. Looks like enough glue to me. That's probably plenty of glue. Okay, now we're gonna start with a dab. We smear it all around. Now you can take one of your pieces, shove it down in there. Yeah. It's a little too much there. We are going to like get things done in this video and this video is going to be awesome for all of you, 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 all of you and it's going to be great if you want to watch it every time watch it because you can always do it and copy us. I mean Mm -hmm. This is this is what our project is. We'll just glue up our second snowman. And now let's put him in the clamp. We don't really need a whole lot of clamping pressure. Just enough to keep them together while the glue sits up. I'm just going to let them dry and we're going to move on and get the base ready. For the base we're going to use this piece of log here. It's an off cut from when I made the copper pipe lamps and I think this is going to work perfect. What we need to do is cut this down a little bit smaller so that it fits our snowman a little bit better. We'll drill some holes for some dowels that will attach the snowman and also some holes for the candles using a Porsner bit. For our snowman's face, I'm thinking what we're gonna do is drill some little holes and decorate his face using some indents. We'll put a little bit of paint in there. That way it might look more like a snowman that might have coal for an eye and buttons and things like that. We're gonna put some tape over his face and over where his buttons would go. Now we'll just draw on the face with a pencil right where his eyes and nose and mouth is going to go. Let's go. Just make a mark. Yep. Two eyes. I'm going to follow you. Wait. Wait. Uh, 
That's not where my button go. I'm gonna put mine right there, right there, and right there. Right now we're gonna um paint these with acrylic black paint which we need to shake. Um while I'm talking I'm gonna shake this thing because we need to shake it well. May as well. So let's start. Get ready and roll. We're just gonna use a q tip and we're gonna dab the paint into the little divots before we even remove the tape. That way hopefully when we pull the tape off It'll keep the rest of the face and everything pretty clean and pretty well defined. We're just going to take a Q-tip and not take turns doing it together by step by step. Just make sure you dab cool. it right down in there. Ooh, that works really good. The way you do this is very carefully get all the extra paint off on the tape. And this is the way you do this proper thing. And it's just going to be the way it is. Perfect. We'll set those aside for just a few minutes and let them dry. While our paint is drying, we're going to spend a few minutes sanding on the base. Ow! Splinter? That's why we're sanding it. Try to beat me. Race! A sanding race? Let's go! Think I'm gonna beat you? See, I'm beating you. Now our paint is dry. We can go ahead and peel the tape off and see how our snowman faces look. Daddy, mine is not perfectly dry yet. Look. I just wanted my... Oh, here. It's not perfectly dry. Yeah, there's a little bit on the outside, but if we peel it carefully, I think it'll work. Ooh. <laughs> a little bit of sanding to clean it up, but it'll be fine. What else does a snowman need besides eyes, nose, mouth, and buttons? I don't know. Arms! He needs arms! We're gonna cut some pieces of this tie wire. That way we can attach them to the side of the snowman. We can bend them around and make them do some different things. 30. So now what we'll do is just using some needle nose pliers We'll just kind of bend it around and make it look something like a hand. He won't really have fingers or anything, but that'll be his hand. He can be like waving. Should be okay. Okay. Perfect. Now all we need to do is drill some holes in the very side of our snowman and jam these things in. So now we have everything sanded, everything is drilled, our faces are perfect, they're ready to attach our snowman to the base. We'll put a little glob on our cardboard, that's, well, that's probably way more than we need, we don't need much. Perfect. Work a little bit of glue down in the hole. I'm not going to use my finger. Yep. Smear it all around. Uh oh. I think I just got the glue in my hair. Shove it down on there. Does my hair look yellow? I don't see any glue in your hair. <sighs> Close one. There we go. I like it. Candle time? Not yet. I mean, now we gotta let this glue dry. Now that we've got the glue dry, 
it's time to give our snowman some arms. You pulled his arm out. <laughs> there we go. It's time to get some clear on these. So with Haley out of the shop and away from the fumes, I'm just gonna apply a couple of coats of clear. Now that our clear coat is dry, our cool little snowman candle holders are ready to go. All that's left to do is to take our little tea lights and plop them into place. Then we'll just light it up. This is gonna be awesome. And there they are, a great little decoration for the holidays. I'm not worried about the candle causing any sort of fire danger or anything. It's small enough and the flame is far enough away where it's not gonna get too hot and cause any kind of safety hazard. I really enjoy doing these kind of projects with Haley, being able to get her out here in the shop, helping me out with some stuff. It's really fun just doing some simple little projects, just getting involved and being able to work on stuff together. It's really fun. So thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Give the video a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell icon down below so that you get notifications every time we post a new video. Down below in the description, you'll find links to all my social media. So if you wanna connect over there, Check it out down in the description and look us up on your favorite social media platform. So I want to say thanks again for watching and from Haley and I, we'll see you next time. Why did you do that? Now let's glue the cardboard to the table. No. <laughs> No! How about I glue you to the table? Guess what I brought that you can choose. You can choose it for later. Oh, okay. Um, maybe the berry? Berry works. Uh, Put it in your pocket. You can have it after we're done sanding. Ah, you almost painted me up. Don't do it. No! <laughs> Don't paint me because I have a jacket on. Well, so do I. But you rolled your sleeves up. I'm not trying to stand in the mask and I go outside. Well, the, the, work is on, the work is not quite done. And you want to bail on this project? <laughs> I'm going to bail on you guys' project. I don't think so. And then we'll drill, a, <laughs> we'll drill our holes. Carefully and dangerous. <laughs> carefully and dangerous? How do you get both? How can it be careful and dangerous at the same time? Why, every time it's glued shut. Daddy, let's do this together. Ready? Get set! Pull! <clears throat> I'll pull it down, you pull it up. Okay. Pull! Hey, we did it! High five. Nice! Go! Is take our little tea light candles, plop them in. It's just a fly! No, I think it's a bee. It's not a bee. It's not a bee. It's just a fly. <laughs> Why do we keep half to whack him? He's out of here. Where is he? He's over there somewhere. Give a big thumbs up. We'll see you next time.